Welcome to Mavic 3 Multi-Spectral Full Tree Area Survey and Mapping Teaching Video. The M3M is not only widely used in smart agriculture, but also has higher operational efficiency in full tree area survey. Full tree planning has large area and high economic value, but most of the fruit trees are planted on mountains. The terrain is complex, and the frequency of pesticide application is high. In general, manual spraying is not only difficult, but also has the risk of poisoning, which has greatly increased the difficulty of mountain orchard management and the cost of pesticide application. Agricultural drones can apply pesticide at night and can easily manage an orchard over several hectares by setting up only one refueling point, which greatly liberates labor. Fruit tree scenes usually include three situations. First, the terrain is flat and there are few obstacles and the distribution of fruit tree is continuous. It is recommended to use the agricultural drone to perform terrain falling operations. Second, the terrain is flat, but there are many obstacles and its area is small. You can use the agricultural drone to conduct area surveys and then plan the route to perform operations. Third, the orchard area is large, the terrain has a large drop and with many obstacles, or the distribution of fruit trees is scattered. It is recommended to use M3M area survey, use DJI Smart Farm Platform or DJI Terra to reconstruct. Then share the 3D route to the agricultural drone for operations. What is the difference between DJI Smart Farm Platform and DJI Terra? The DJI Smart Farm Platform does not require a high configuration computer, but it needs to use the network to upload photos, so the network must be guaranteed. DJI Terra needs to use high configuration computers, and the reconstruction and the route planning do not depend on the network. The recommended computer configuration is as follows. The equipments for orchard area survey include M3M high-speed memory card, a computer capable of running DJI Terra or DJI Smart Farm platform. Preparation before takeoff. Area surveys require good light conditions and the wind speed should not exceed 10 meters per second. The takeoff and landing area needs to be flat and open, far away from strong interference objects, such as high voltage power towers and with no obstacle above. Open the three-proof box, take out the remote controller, install the control stick of the remote controller, and unfold the antennas. Take out the aircraft and RTK module, remembering to make the DJI logo of the RTK module base forward. Install the RTK module and tighten the two fixing screws. Unfold the frame arms. When unfolding, pay attention to unfolding the upper arms first, and then unfold the lower arms. When installing the propellers, pay attention to the direction of rotation of the propeller. If there is a mark on top of the motor, please install a counterclockwise propeller with corresponding mark. And if there is no mark on the motor, a clockwise propeller with a mark should be installed. Follow this method to install other propellers in sequence. Insert a member card. Pay attention to insert the metal contacts upwards when inserting. Slightly push the battery into the aircraft, making sure the buckle is tightened. Hold the gimbal protective cover and slightly jack it down to remove it. Short press and hold the power button to turn on the remote controller and the aircraft in sequence. Inspection before operation. First, shift the mode to M mode. Check whether the remote controller and the aircraft have the latest firmware. If there is an upgrade prompt, it is recommended to upgrade to the latest firmware. Enter camera view to check in turn the battery power of the aircraft and the remote controller, RTK positioning accuracy, RTH altitude. It is recommended to choose RTH for out of control action and adjust the stick mode to your usual mode. It is recommended to set low battery to 30% and critical low battery to 10%. It is recommended to set the obstacle avoidance behavior to avoid. In addition, 
the RTK positioning status needs to be maintained throughout the aerial survey operation. M3M needs to be connected to the network for the first use. The RTK survey type can be selected according to the actual situation. If the compass interference is too much and it prompts that the calibration is required, it is recommended to perform calibration away from metal and strong magnetic environments. The calibration steps are as follows. Enter camera view. Close the pre-flight track. Click settings in the upper right corner. Select flight controller settings. Slide down to find the sensor status. Select compass and click Calibrate Compass. Hold the aircraft about 1.5 meters above the ground. When the rear light of the aircraft turns solid yellow, rotate 360 degrees horizontally. When the rear lights turn solid green, hold the aircraft with the nose upward vertically and rotate 360 degrees horizontally. Route 3 Aerial Survey Select the flat route mode in DJI Pilot 2. Create a route, mapping, and click to generate an aerial survey area for data acquisition. You can drag the boundary points to plan the aerial survey area. You can click the plus icon between two boundary points to add boundary point. Select boundary point and click the delete icon to delete a single boundary point or clear all boundary points to replan. After the planning is completed, name the aerial survey mission, select the camera as DJI Mavic 3M, and select RGB. It is recommended to enable terrain follow flight and select real-time terrain follow. Set flight route altitude. It is recommended to set the altitude to be more than 70 meters above the aerial survey area. Click the numbers on the left and the right to adjust the flat route altitude, or click the blue numbers to manually enter the altitude. In order to improve operational efficiency, the takeoff speed and route speed can be adjusted to the maximum value. Adjust the course angle so that the route is parallel to the longest side, reducing the number of turns and improving operational efficiency. Enable elevation optimization. Select Return to Home for flight route complete action. In the advanced settings, it is recommended to set the side overlap ratio to 70%, the front overlap ratio to 80%, and the margin to zero. Select Time Interval Shoot for photo mode Click Back, Save the Mission, click Execute, and check the status of the aircraft again on the pre-flight track before takeoff. If there is no error message, click Next. If there are red and orange warnings above, follow the prompts. It is recommended to set both the flight route complete action and out of control action to return to home, the camera gear to auto-automatic mode, and disable the developing. After the sighting is complete, click Upload Flight Mission. After the upload is complete, the aircraft will automatically take off and start aerial survey. If the aerial survey area is large, it is recommended to enable Smart Return to Home. When the aircraft automatically calculates that the power is only enough to return to the home point, the aircraft will automatically return to the home. And continue the mission after replacing the battery. DJI Terra Reconstruction After the aerial survey is completed, import the photos in the memory card to the computer. Open DJI Terra. Select New Mission. Visible Light. Fill in the mission name. Click Add Folder under the photo. Select the folder containing the photos just taken. Open the 2D map. Select the high resolution for the scenes. Select the fruit tree scenes. And click Start Reconstruction and wait for the reconstruction result. After the reconstruction is complete, Select Agriculture application, 
and fill in the mission name. The continuous spring in the spring tap is continuously spring in the 3D route. Sports spring is to spray at the center of the tree and the rest of the area is not sprayed. It is recommended to use continuous spraying for common fruit trees, which has high efficiency and good control effect. In continuous spraying, there are four types of root planning. Distance interval auto, tree crown center auto, semi-automatic, and manual. Distance interval auto, plant boundary points in the orchard and automatically generate 3D root in the plant area. Tree crown center auto, plant boundary points in the orchard and automatically generate 3D root through tree centers. Semi-automatic, manually plant waypoints and DJ Tera will automatically adjust the root to generate 3D root through the center of the tree according to the position of the waypoints. Manual Manually plan the waypoints and directly generate a 3D route, and DJ Tera will not make any adjustments. In Sports Spring, there are only two types, Tree Crown Center Auto and Semi-Automatic, which have the same meaning as the root tab in Continuous Spring. The difference is that Sports Spring only sprays at the center of the tree and does not spring in other areas. Enable the display result and disable the force set calibration point. When the identification of fruit trees and obstacles are inaccurate, you can click Modify the result to correct. Adjust the size of the brush, select the modification type, hold down the control key and use the left mouse button to modify. After the modification is complete, click check mark to confirm. If you need to modify the position of the tree center, you need to select the type of root planning as tree crown center auto or semi-automatic. Click modify result to correct. Click to add tree center and select the tree center to delete. After the modification is complete, click check mark to confirm. When planning a route, if the canopy of the fruit trees is small, the planting distribution is sparse or planted along the contour line, it is recommended to choose the semi-automatic or manual route mode. If the canopy of fruit trees is large and the planting distribution is dense, it is recommended to use distance interval auto mode, but the route should not be in the same directions as the planting of the fruit trees. Otherwise, there will be no gaps for the fruit trees under the route and the penetration will decrease. When using the manual mode, the route should be set about 1 meter beyond the row of fruit trees and cover the fruit trees in the edge area as much as possible to reduce the impact of wind direction on pesticide application. The distance between the route and the surrounding obstacles should be more than 5 meters and you can add two points to measure the distance to the obstacle. When there are no obstacles in the orchard, Fields should be continuous planned as much as possible to reduce the number of fields and facilitate users to use fields for operation. When there are obstacles in some areas, the route should be planned separately for this area and please pay attention to the starting and ending points of the route and do not choose refilling points below the obstacles. If you encounter a long no spring route, modify the identification result to water surface or buildings, then it will not spray in this part. If a turn back route is required, try to plan the turn back route at the edge of the field to ensure the operation effect. After the planning is complete, click to generate 3D route. 
the root altitude is recommended to be 3 to 6 meters. And the flat root width is recommended to be set to 3 to 4 meters in distance interval auto mode. If the smoothness of the root is adjusted to zero, the greater the fluctuation of the root will be, and if the smoothness of the root is adjusted to one, the smoother the root will be. Press and hold the middle mouse button to rotate to check whether the root covers all the four shades, whether the height and margin are safe and reasonable. When the smoothness is 1, if there is a sudden rise in the root, then we need to withdraw the boundary point to adjust the root to be smooth. Otherwise, the agricultural drone is easy to enter obstacle avoidance status. After the planning is complete, insert the memory card, import the root to the memory card, and then insert the memory card into the remote controller of the agricultural drone to import the root. After uploading the root, log in with the same account of DJI Terra on the agricultural drone to download the root. In the agricultural drone, use the root, set parameters such as flow rate, flight speed, relative height, etc. Click to execute and the agricultural drone will operate according to the planned route. Thank you for watching.